Hello. In this lesson, we will be learning how to view, add, and delete patron blocks. To view and work with patron blocks, we must first open the patron status work form. We can do this either by clicking on the patron status icon on the shortcut bar, or by clicking on circulation and selecting patron status. This will bring up the patron records find tool. Let's use the defaults and search for our patron by last name. To do this, we will need to enter a comma after the last name. Our search has brought up two possible patrons, so let's select the one we want, either by double-clicking on it or by pressing the Enter key. This brings up the Patron Status Work Form, which shows if the patron has any items signed out. To work with patron blocks, we will need to select the General View, which is the top button in the Windows sidebar. To change views, just click on the button. This view will show any blocks that the patron currently has and will allow us to add or delete blocks. Currently, our patron has no blocks, so let's add one. To add a block, click on the Add Block button. This will bring up the New Block dialog box. There are two types of blocks that you can add, Library Assigned or Free Text. Library Assigned allows you to choose from one of six options, while Free Text will allow an authorized staff member to enter any message up to 255 characters in length. Let's add a Free Text block to our patron's record. Then click on OK to add it to the record. The block now appears in the Patron's list of blocks. To delete a block, all we have to do is click on the block we wish to delete and then press the Delete Block button.